ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yan. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Of course, we have Nikki who is a community development student from UP Diliman. She's a passionate advocate of children's rights and development. During her free time, she likes to nap and watch movies. She's also a big fan of Ed Sheeran and, fortunately for her, recently watched his concert. Bench, on the other hand, is also a student of UP Diliman and studies community development as well. He likes playing sports and video games, reading random books, and watching stand-up comedy. He also likes reading about warfare history. Josh, an engineering student at UP Diriman, brings a sharp mind cultivated through trivia shows. As president of UP ROAR, the university's round net organization, he's primed for competition. Josh also enjoys singing and running in his spare time. And last but not least, we have Reg, who studies molecular biology and biotechnology also in UP Diliman. In her downtime, she likes going on jogs, discovering new cafes, and watching movies. This is her first time joining a game show. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Looks like you're ready, so let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. Willis Carrier is an American industrialist who formulated the basic theories that led to the invention of what cooling device in 1902? Josh. Refrigerator. The answer is incorrect. Reg. Air conditioning. The air conditioner is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Romulus and Remus were the legendary founders of what European capital city, Reg? Rome. Rome is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Brie Larson starred as Carol Danvers in what 2019? Josh. Captain Marvel. Brie Larson starred as Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is the correct answer. K check. Question number four, what aerobic fitness program combining Latin American dancing and exercise routines was developed in Colombia during the 1990s? Josh. Pilates. Pilates is incorrect. Red. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha? Cha-cha or cha-cha-cha? Either way, the answer is also incorrect. Nikki. Salsa. Salsa is also incorrect. And Zumba. Zumba is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What word can mean either an adult male deer or a party held for a man shortly before his wedding? Red. Stag. Stag. Stag for a stag party is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What device in a submarine is a long, vertical tube containing a set of mirrors that give you a view of what is above you when you look through the bottom of the tube. I also thought that at least somebody would get this. 
That device is called a periscope. Question number seven. From what plant do we get tapioca, which is made into pudding and sago pearls? Josh? Cassava. Sa lahat ng mahilig uminom ng milk tea, the sago pearls are made out of cassava. Cassava is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Blinding Lights is one of the best-selling hit songs of which American singer? Nikki. The Weeknd. The Weeknd is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. In what city in California, USA, can you find Alcatraz Island to the east of the Golden Gate Bridge? Josh. San Francisco. San Francisco is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In mental math, what is the positive geometric mean of 4 and 9? Josh. 6.5. 6.5 is incorrect. Nikki. 5.5. 5.5 is also incorrect. Bench. 6. 6 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. Which American actress known as a blonde bombshell for her movies like Some Like It Hot died at the young age of 36 in 1962? Reg. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe is the correct answer. K. Chet. Last question for this round. Elton John teamed up with which female singer in the 2021 number one hit song Cold Heart? Reg. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is the correct answer, K-Check. And that's it for round one. So after that round, we have Reg in the lead with 50 points, followed by Josh with 30, Bench with 20, Nikki with 10. One round done, two more to go. And in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin po ang ating karunungan check. And after round one, we have Reg with 50 points, Josh with 30, Bench with 20, and Nikki with 10 points. And so now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this second round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. The first opium war was fought between Britain and what large Asian country during the 19th century, Bench? China. China is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. What play by William Shakespeare features a prince of Denmark? Yes, Josh? Romeo and Juliet. The answer is incorrect. This play features a prince of Denmark. Yes, Red. Hamlet. In Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark tries to exact revenge against his uncle. Hamlet is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. The Einstein Museum and the Einstein House are two of the most visited places in the city of Bern. In what European country can you find Bern? Yes, Nikki. Germany. Germany is incorrect. Reg. Switzerland. Switzerland is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Coming from the French word for undertaker, what term is defined as someone who starts their own business, especially when this involves seeing a new opportunity and taking risks? Bench. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In what U.S. state can you find the Pentagon, which is the second largest office building in the world, Bench? Washington, D.C. The answer is incorrect. The Pentagon can be found in the U.S. state of Virginia, a neighboring state of, a neighboring state of Washington, D.C. 
Question number six. Prince Albert is the husband and consort of which famous queen who ruled the United Kingdom for 63 years? Red. Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What is the title of the 1975 novel of James Clavell about 17th century Japan that was adapted into one of Netflix's most watched series in February of 2024, Bench. The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai is incorrect. The correct answer is Shogun. Question number eight. Now a city in Zamboanga del Norte, where was Jose Rizal exiled from 1892 to 1896? Ben. The Pitan. The Pitan is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. The glycemic index is a system that ranks foods on a scale from 1 to 100 based on their effect on the levels of what substance in the blood? Josh. Sugar. Sugar is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. Wai Tang Yi Day is the annual national day of which country in the South Pacific? Josh. Hong Kong. The answer is incorrect. Wai Tang Yi is the annual national day of New Zealand. Question number 11. Andorra is one of the smallest countries in the world. It is located between France and what other country which is famous for bullfighting? Bench. Spain. Spain is the correct answer. K check. Last question for this round. What is the name of the Geopark Reserve in Baras Rizal that got involved in a billion peso contract dispute with the DENR last April 2024? This is the Masumi Geopark Reserve. And that's it for our second round. Kamustahin naman natin ang ranking ng ating mga contestants after the second round. Reg is still in the lead with 110 points, except the second place is now occupied by Benj with 80 points. Third is Josh with 30, and Nikki with a little catching up to do. So, our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on. K-Check Welcome back to K-Check Bago tayo magpunta sa ating ultimate pagalingan round Let's have a points recap But we still have Reg in first place with 110 points Benj with 80 points Josh with 30 And Nikki with some catching up to do so, hindi pa po natin alam kung sino ang ating magiging weekly finalist kasi meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tandaan sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin. And to kick off our ultimate pagalingan round, let's call on Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Okay, ito na. Sino ang kompositor ng himig ng UP naming mahal? Letter A, Nicanor Tiongson. Letter B, Nicanor Reyes. Letter C, Nicanor Abelardo. Letter D, Bench. Nicanor Abelardo. I will continue. Letter D, Nicanor Angeles. And letter E, Nicanor Santos. The correct answer is letter C, Nicanor Abelardo. Okay, check. Prof. Marla. What term refers to the resistance of a fluid to flow? A, density. Reg. Viscosity. Let me continue. B, viscosity. C, buoyancy. D, surface tension. E, pressure. The correct answer is B, viscosity. K, check. Prof. Lu. 
Philippine Judiciary tayo. To be a Supreme Court Justice in the Philippines, one is required to have at least blank years of experience as a judge of a lower court or law practice in the country. The choices are letter A, 10, letter B, 15, letter C, 20, letter D, 25, letter E, 30. According to Article 7, Section 7 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution, no person shall be appointed a member of the Supreme Court or any lower collegiate court unless he is a natural-born citizen of the Philippines at least 40 years of age and must have been for 15 years or more a judge in the lower court or engaged in the practice of law in the Philippines. The correct answer is B-15. Alam to ni Atty. Gabi. Hindi ko nga alam kung qualified na ako maging justice. E? Wag na tayo maglokohan pa. Uh, Prof. Glessie, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, nakita ang impluensya ng dramatic form na ito sa mga noontime show. Sing and Dance, Comedy Act, Magic. Galing sa salitang Pranses na Valdevere o By the River. Dahil ang mga sinaunang pagtatanghal ay ginanap habang ang mga tao ay naghihintay ng sasakyan katapi ng ilog. Ano ang tawag sa dramatic form na ito? A. Showtime D. Showboat C. Singalong D. Bodabil and E. Pulagaan Bench Bodabil Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Bodabil Okay, check Naku, dahil dyan nagtay na si Bench and Reg for first place Prof. Marla what is the term for the study of the Earth's physical structure and substance, its history, and the processes that act on it? A. Meteorology B. Geology C. Ecology D. Oceanography E. B. Geology E. Astronomy The correct answer is B. Geology K. Check Thank you. Prof. Luna. Okay, literary history naman. Which of these famous novelists declined to receive the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1964? The choices are John Steinbeck, letter A. Letter B, Ernest Hemingway. Letter C, Pearl Buck. Letter D, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Letter E, Jean-Paul Sartre. John Paul Satra was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1964, but he declined as he had consistently declined all other official honors. The correct answer is E. John Paul Satra. Maraming salamat. Going now to our third round, Prof. Glessy. Okay, thank you. Ano ang salitang Tagalog na tawag sa pen name? ng mga manunulat ng dagli na tulad ng tengkeleng at lipang kalabaw. Nikki. Alias. Okay. Let me continue. The choices are letter A, alias, letter B, kublihan, letter C, talipanpan, letter D, pangalan, and letter E, pinalayaw. The answer is wrong. Anyone want to steal? The correct answer is letter C, talipanpan. Prof. Marla. What is the term for the study of the evolutionary history and relationships among individuals or groups of organisms? A. Paleontology. B. Josh. A. Paleontology. The answer is wrong. B. Biogeography C. Phylogenetics D. Morphology E. Taxonomy Reg. Phylogenetics The correct answer is C. Phylogenetics K. Check 
Ang saya ni Prof. Marla. Mukhang lahat ng tanong mo today na sasagot. Prof. Lu. Okay, Philippine Church history naman. How many Roman Catholic popes have visited the Philippines? The choices are A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4, E, 5. Josh. D, 2. That's incorrect. Reg. 3. The popes that had visited the Philippines were Pope Paul VI in 1970, Pope John Paul II in 1981, and Pope Francis in 2015. The correct answer is C3, K check. So after that round, Reg is in the lead with 200, Bench is in second place with 140, Josh with 30, and Nikki with negative 15. So we have this round that will determine who our ultimate winner for this week will be. Prof. Glessy? Sino ang scholar na ito na higit na kilala bilang lansangan samantalang legasiya niya ang mga akdang tulad ng El Teatro Tagalo at iba pang saliksik ukol sa Malabon? Letter A, Severino de los Santos. Letter B, Severino Magdamag. Letter C, Epifanio Talavera. Letter D, Epifanio de los Santos. And letter E, none of the above. Josh, D, Epifanio de los Santos. The correct answer is letter D, Epifanio de los Santos. K check. Prof. Marla. Mathematics naman. What is the perimeter in inches of a rectangle with sides measuring 3 and 2 inches? Josh. 10. Choices are A5, B6, C8, D10, E, none of the above. The answer is D10, K check. Ang bilis ng sagot ni Josh doon. Prof. Lu. Okay, last question is on Asian history. Which temple complex in Asia symbolically represents Mount Meru? and was built during a golden age of Cambodian history. The choices are A. Shwedagon Temple Letter B. Angkor Wat Bench Angkor Wat A Hindu Buddhist temple complex in Cambodia, it resides within the ancient Khmer capital city of Angkor. The correct answer is B. Angkor Wat. Hey, check. And that's it for our very exciting K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Reg, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 200 points. Maraming salamat din, of course, kay Bench who has 170 points, Josh and Nikki for joining, and of course, the members ng ating panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Marla, and Professor Liu. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round here on K-Check.